Today, we are at the 2010 International Meeting for Autism Research, speaking with Dr. Brian Friedman, Clinical Director of the Center for Autism and Related Disorders at Kennedy Krieger Institute. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Friedman. Can you tell us about the research that you are presenting at the meeting? Having a child with autism can put stress on a marriage, and a frequently cited statistic leads to a common perception that the divorce rate among these families is as high as 80%. In the work we've done with children with autism, We've come across many couples who quote this 80% divorce rate. They don't know what the future holds for their child and feel a sense of hopelessness about the future of their marriage as well. It's almost like getting a diagnosis of autism and, and a diagnosis of divorce at the same time. With very little empirical and no epidemiological research addressing the issue of separation and divorce among parents of children with autism spectrum disorders, our research team set out to more scientifically examine the instance. So using data from the 2007 National Survey of Children's Health, we examined a nationally representative sample of 77,911 children ages 3 to 17. What did your study find, Dr. Friedman? Our results show that a child's autism seems to have no effect on the family structure. We found that 64% of children with an autism spectrum disorder belong to a family with two married biological or adoptive parents, and that's compared with 65% of children who do not have an ASD. Why are these findings important for the autism community? While there are certainly stressors in parenting a child with autism, it doesn't necessarily result in the family breaking up more often than would occur in another family. As someone who works with a team of healthcare professionals to treat and provide support for families of children with autism, it's critical for us to make sure our patients' parents have this important information and for fellow clinicians in the community to provide reliable, evidence-based information about the divorce rate among this population as well. I hope this research drives home the importance of providing support to these families and letting them know that their relationships can survive these stressors. We should then also continue to provide training and clinical support for parents so that they can work through the stressors in their relationship to keep their family together and to have a successful marriage. And what are potential next steps? You know, for some families, the challenges of parenting a child with special needs may indeed result in straining the marriage to the breaking point. Therefore, further research is needed to understand these relationships among intact families with children with autism to identify how they work through these challenges. Thank you very much, Dr. Friedman.